What's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrom here. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 10 of Rome. Now, before we get started, um, there are two more episodes of Rome left in Season 1 after today. I will do those uh, next week. Then after that, Rome goes on the shelf. I'm a bit worn out, so I'm going to cut back on these reactions, and then we'll see what we'll do from there. Now, last we saw Octavia at the behest of Sevilla, um, seduced her brother Octavius, who let it happen, and then was like, I know you're up to something, so spit it out. Their mom found out, and it all went to shit. Sevilla uh, was, at the end of the episode, was stripped and had her hair cut and was embarrassed in the street. to it. Made Imperator and granted absolute power over Rome for a period of 10 years. <laughs> the visions will be forgotten. Oppose me. And Rome will not forgive you a second time. Senators! <laughs> the war is over. Scummy, but so deliciously awesome. I wish it didn't turn out the way it did. Poor friend. I was very afraid he might try some foolish act of bravery. Men are so silly about their honor, no? <laughs> I've come to ask you if you will sit with me at the triumph. Even though I'm being besieged by sycophants asking for space, I thought, no. If someone ought to have first choice, it should be my dear friend, Sevilla, who's been through so much pain. People tell me that Octavia's left the city, but no one knows where. I hope there's nothing amiss. Not at all. She's staying at my cousin's villa in Pyston, mooning over some young fool of a poet she's met there. She'll be back in time for the trial. That's like, that was so weird. And also, Jesus. Like two women sitting there bullshitting each other, knowing that the other's bullshitting each other and knowing okay. that the other knows that they're bullshitting each other. Fellow citizens. My name is Lucius Veridus, tribe of Stellatina, veteran of the 13th Legion. Some of you may know me. I bring you good news as any man here. If I am elected as your local magistrate, I promise on Jupiter's stone to strive to make this an era of peace prosperity and justice for all Aventine. Tomorrow, Caesar holds a triumph, a symbol of his love for the people of Rome. Cack! Why don't you shut up, you... Ladylike, madame, ladylike. Five days of feasting and games... And tomorrow's triumph, new era. With tomorrow's triumph, Jesus. a new era begins. For all Aventine. For all Rome. Man, did a good job. Kept it together. It is not again. Something more red. Is the canal around the circus filled? This was not last night. I saw it at first light. Very good. Make sure the elephants are given their emetics in good time. I don't want my chariot slowed by giant turds. <sighs> Ugh. 
Fuck. It warms me. Light more lamps if you are cold. It looks very ill to keep a son of Pompey in our house. And we should strike such fine figures otherwise. So you see, the fourth clause of the kind of like that actor. Thing about him from Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. It's nice to see some backbone. In the appendix. Do you Here, see? even though not clearly. He has and no backbone. Sure either. Anything simpler than fuck it. The Republic, the blood of our forefathers, calls you to honor the memory and emulate the deeds of Porcius Cato, the last true Roman. Who wrote this? You did. Holy shit! Crouch beneath us. Father of the Republic, what do you do? Stab him, motherfucker. We have been saving to buy our freedom, but we never... Um, to happen so soon. I cannot tell you what a gift it is. We've both been saving. You and Irene. We had thought to take the Varinos name as ours when we became freed men, but Irene says it must be under your name. She becomes my wife. Wife? I hear you. Sir? a clever one like you. Never demoted you, never flogged, never locked up, straight to the top. And here you are, with your nice, clean, white toga. Lovely cloth, that. Stays clean no matter how much you wade in the filth. Speak your mind. You stand up. Stand up! Stand up! I'll not fight you. And go. Go and do not come back here. What? Stay away from me. Right. Sorry. That came out of fucking nowhere. Holy I shit. Had no idea. My dear friend, of course I believe you. You have never lied to me. Besides, why would you put your name to a thing and then deny it? Well, exactly. And anyone, anyone may forge my name to a thing to give it weight. We shall just have to become used to it, no doubt. I wonder who it was that wrote it. I wish I knew. Someone of talent. Anyhow, I have never doubted your friendship or fidelity. Even when we were enemies. Well, if your prospects don't work out, you can ask on any street in the Aventine for Erastes' food. I'll always have a job for you. I'm a soldier, not a murderer. These days, Polo, is there really any difference? Killed him. 
they did a really good job of setting that up the last two or three episodes. Where Polo was just down. He's lost it. He's lonely. He's fucking not killing anybody anymore because he's not at war. His friend is rising the ranks. It's just all going to shit. And he's got this one piece of hope and then he frees her. And then he finds out in the most horrific way, I mean, besides her fucking somebody else, um, that she's going to be married to somebody else. Just... <sighs> that hurts. Now, I know Pulo and uh, Varina's probably won't be done as friends. I'll give it a couple episodes. And they'll be back together. Probably brought together by the situation with that fucking... Is he a crime boss? I'm not sure what he is. He's somebody who had Marinus and now wants this guy. I hate Sevilla. Like, I know she's been put through the ringer, but I just, to do that to your son, even if you think it's for his own good, it's, it's icky. She fucked over Octavia, which is double icky. Um, see these two old birds fucking go at each other, just tearing down any and everybody in their wake. It's just... As for Caesar, um, I love the fact that the man is keeping his cool. He knows it's all going to shit around him. Or could go to shit, rather, at any point. And you just stick to the fucking game plan. No, Brutus, I know it wasn't you. Of course not. I've always expected your love and friendship, even when we were enemies. So, nonsense. Poppycock! He's got to know. He's got to fucking know. Don't like where this is going. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Anybody feel bad for Bill Cosby? Did he forget the names just like Steve Harvey? Tell Adidas that we need a million in production. I done told y'all all I needed was the infrastructure. Now we hide us in the streets, it ain't no discussion. James Harden, Swaggy P running up the budget.